Hey guys, so today I want to do a video on the essential oils that I use. I get my essential oils from RockyMountainOils.com and I will post the link in the description for their website. The reason that I use Rocky Mountain Oils is because it is a good quality. I did a lot of research before I started purchasing essential oils on the quality of the essential oils. Uh, because I'm going to be rubbing them on my body, diffusing them in the air and breathing them in, I wanted to make sure there weren't any chemicals in them. Kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, so I wanted to make sure what I was using on myself and my family was safe and of good quality. So I did a lot of research, read a lot of different websites, um, looked into, read different articles and reviews, and um, after I did all that, Rocky Mountain Oil seemed to be the best choice out of all of the different options out there. MLM companies like Young Living or Deterra that sell oils, and I think that they're probably fine to use. Um, I just didn't want the commitment to have to purchase a large kit and then maintain a membership, and the prices tend to be a little bit higher because it is an MLM. Um, so that's why I chose not to go with that. I wanted to buy the oils when it was convenient for me, when I needed them. Um, that's one reason I chose Rocky Mountain Oils. So there's a really comprehensive article on this topic of uh, Rocky Mountain Oils versus other uh, oils that you can purchase on wholenewmom.com. I will put the link in the description and she has like a whole series of articles that you can go and read that really go in depth on comparing the different essential oil companies and which one is the best and why. Um, so I will post a link in the description for that article as well. So if you'd like to read through that, she made phone calls, she uh, did chemical test background, got GCMS uh, sheet information, and did a lot of research um, comparing these different companies. And so I thought her article, she did an ex excellent job explaining them. And so I really recommend that if you want to dive in further on your essential oil companies and uh, why Rocky Mountain Oils is a good choice. Um, and by the way, they are not paying me in any way for this video. I just really like this company and I'll explain a little bit more why here in a minute. Um, so I'm not being paid for this. I just really like the company and I thought I'd share why. Um, so we talked about no MLM commitments. Um, so with essential oils, you get what you pay for. If you go to Kroger's or Walmart and buy essential oils from them, you're getting what you pay for. It's $6 a bottle at Walmart, I think, for their essential oils. Um, I have no idea on the quality of them. I can't imagine that they're that great of quality based on the price. Um, you know, an oil that is more difficult to extract and more expensive plant to grow is gonna be of you know, higher value and so you're gonna pay a little bit more. And so Rocky Mountain Oils, you are paying based on the uh, costs involved with those oils, but you're not paying the extra costs that you would be paying for an MLM company. You're just paying for the cost of production and you know, obviously they have to make some money, but you know, pay for this cheap oil and then it be of low quality. And then at that point, what's the point of using it? So, you know, I can see paying a little bit more for a good quality, but I don't wanna overpay just because it's a name brand oil. So, I mean, you have to weigh the pros and cons for yourself. Now there again, I'll buy a cheaper oil for let's say, I make my own floor cleaner. So I will um, use the cheap oils for my floor cleaner. I'm not putting that on my body directly, so I don't, I'm not gonna spend, put my expensive oils in my floor cleaner. Um, so that I don't worry about so much, but um, oils that I'm gonna be putting on myself or my kids or my husband, I wanna use a better quality. Um, and the other great thing about Rocky Mountain Oils, if you join their email list or get on their Facebook page, they have sales periodically. And so like the day after Thanksgiving, they always have a huge sale where you get like 30, 40% off of oils. So I'll stock up on my oils every year right around that time and then get all the oils that I need and want then. 
um, for a really reasonable price. So not only is the price accurate to um, the type of oil that you're getting, but it's also, you can get you know good deals on them with their sales that they have. So I really recommend looking and following them on Facebook or whatever so you can find out when they're having their sales and then get that good discount price on the oils that are a little bit more pricey. Um, the other thing, uh, they have a loyalty program, so the more you buy, the more points you get, and then you get, you know, free bottles here and there. Um, and they also have a really good fast free shipping. So anytime you do an order, I don't think that there's even a minimum that you have to order. There may be, uh, but you get free shipping, and every time I've ordered from them, I think it's been with well within a week that I've received my order, so it's pretty quick. Um, and their customer service is always awesome. I know one time I ordered and my order came and I think I ordered like a five mil bottle and they were out of stock. So they sent me a 15 ml bottle. Um, so I thought that's awesome. I mean, that's awesome customer service that they didn't just not send it to me and give me my money back. If anything, they went above and beyond and sent me a much larger bottle and didn't charge me any extra for it. Uh, and then in my last order, I even got a free sample of their new Ava Shield product that you can use to make um, hard surface cleaners. So a free sample product, I'm all about that. So that's awesome. Um, but anytime I've ever called them or had any questions, their customer service has been amazing and they're always uh, really helpful. And like I said, they seem to go above and beyond if there's any issues. I think one time they even sent me the wrong oil on accident. And so I called them up and they said, keep the oil we sent you on accident. We'll send you your new one out. And I think I got it in two days. They did two day shipping. So, I mean, they've always made things right anytime I've ordered from them and that's awesome. Um, and then the other great thing about them is on their fate or on their website, you can find um, background information on the oils, and then you can also find usage information on how to use those oils. So if it's your first time using them and you have no idea, they provide some basic information for usage on their website. You just click on the particular oil that you're using, and then they'll provide you with some usage information on there. And then their Facebook page also has uh, usage ideas on there. Um, I found that reading the reviews for these oils is a excellent source of extra information from the customers on how to use them. They give you some new ideas that you know, I think the company can only give you so much information themselves on how to use them for liability reasons. So reading through the customer's usage ideas, um, it really helped me to get some extra ideas on how to use them. And even talking to other people who use essential oils, um, you'd be really surprised talking to other people how much information you can gain. Now, granted, you have to take it with a grain of salt and weigh, you know, is that a safe way to use this oil? But overall, talking to others about how they use essential oils and getting ideas, um, you know, is always a learning experience and, you know, talking to other people is a great way to gain that information. But the customer reviews I have always found is a great spot to learn. So let's go ahead and dive into my essential oils kit that I have here. Um, one of the first things I wanted to talk about was the roll-on bottles that I have. Um, I ordered these off of, I think, Amazon, and they are your dark colored uh, bottles, roll-on bottles that just have the metal um, roll-on ball at the top and your cap to close it up. And then I've just been writing the name of the blends that I put inside these, but these are great, especially when I'm making blends for the kids. Some of these oils I put directly on myself. I don't blend them with any carrier oils, but with the kids, you really have to blend them. So uh, if you have kids, I think it's cheaper to buy the um, whole bottles and then blend them yourself you can buy the already already prepared blends. I do have some already prepared blends, but um, oftentimes I will do the blend myself and then I'll put that in these extra roll-on bottles. So, uh, and I think these were relatively cheap. I can't remember the price, honestly, that I paid for these, but I like my roll-on bottles. Um, so one of the best 
and I think every website that you go to will talk about this, but some of the best oils to have to start out with, if you're only gonna purchase a few oils, I would recommend your two first oils to be um, lavender and peppermint. Now lavender, you'll find uh, that they have two different types, lavender hungry and lavender bulgaria. One has a more medicinal smell and one has a more flowery smell. Um, I think, so, and I have an old bottle of their Lavender Bulgaria. I think the Lavender Bulgaria has the um, more medicinal smell, whereas the Lavender Hungry has the more flowery smell. So that's kind of the difference. Uh, between the two. If peppermint oil is great for headaches. I will rub that on my temples and the back of my neck. That's Those are my problem areas whenever I have headaches. Um, so peppermint oil for headaches. Um, if you are uh, kind of sleepy and you're looking for a quick um, non-medicated pick-me-up, uh, peppermint oil mixed with orange. If I can find my orange. Oh, here it is. Peppermint oil mixed with orange, one drop of each in the palm of your hands, rub them together and just smell that. Uh, that's a quick pick me up or you can diffuse it in a diffuser. Um, so that is a pick me up one. Um, peppermint oil, I also use like if you're having any sort of muscle pains, uh, it's like a Bengay type of feeling. So it's kind of a burning sensation followed by a cold sensation, just like Bengay. I've used that when I used to run. So. Peppermint oil is great for that. Uh, oh, stomach issues. So whenever I have a stomach ache or one of the kids have a stomach ache, I will rub peppermint oil on my stomach or the kid's stomach diluted um, for stomach aches. Uh, lavender oil, great for falling asleep. So you can put a drop on your pillow at night to help you sleep. Um, on your neck for tension headaches. You can use lavender, it's great for burns. Anytime I have burned myself or gotten bug bites, I will rub lavender oil on it. It takes the itch away from bug bites and then it almost within minutes, whenever I get a burn, um, I'll put lavender oil on it and that seems to be the only thing that takes the burning sensation away and it heals it so quickly. I'm always amazed at how well lavender oil works for burns. Um, Let's see, so orange orange is one I typically use cleaning. So I'll put a couple drops on my wool dryer ball um, to give like a fresh smell to my laundry. Um, I'll put orange on the bottom of my steam mop to just get a fresher smell while I'm uh, mopping. Um, orange is another one I like to diffuse. So that's how I use my orange. Um, let's see. I purchased the Energize blend, which is a mix of lime and clove bud. This one, so the scent is kind of different on this one. So if you're really picky on scents, um, the scent on this one is, um, you can really smell the clove and then the lime mixed in there. It's just different. So this one's supposed to help be like a diffuse pick me up energizer boost. And um, I like the scent of it, but some people who are a little pickier, especially I read in the reviews, some people love the scent and some people didn't like it. So um, that's one that, you know, if you are not sure you would like it, I would go with like an orange and peppermint mix for an energized blend instead of this if you're picky, but I love the smell of cloves. So I didn't mind it. Um, another one that would be at the top of my list if you're just starting out on building your oil, um, your oil kit, I would do lemon is another great one. Used a lot for cleaning. It is also a great detoxer. So in the reviews, I read a lot of cancer patients actually would to do, I think one or two drops of lemon oil in water and they would drink that regularly, at least on a daily basis um, to help detox the body after chemo treatments. Um, lemon is great for, um, like I said, cleaning, diffusing, and that's pretty much all the usages I use lemon for. I'm sure there's more that I don't know of, but that's what I use it for. Um, let's see. I also have, ooh, tea tree oil. That's another one. Top of the list, I would get tea tree oil. 
Um, tea tree oil it has a very medicinal smell. So tea tree oil has an antibacterial property to it. So anytime I feel like I'm coming down with a sore throat, I put that on my throat and I'll even rub it right here on my esophagus um, to try to kill off any possible bacteria uh, that may be lurking there and starting to make me sick. And I feel like that works almost every time. I don't know if I've had a sore throat in a long time or if I did not for very long because I use this regularly. And that seems to really help. Also, if I'm making any cleaning supplies, I'll put at least five to 10 drops of this. Like in my floor cleaner, I'll put some of this in it. Um, there again, I mix this with the orange and put it on the bottom of my steam mop whenever I'm mopping um, to help kill off any bacteria that may be lurking on my floor. So uh, tea tree oil for throat and for um, you know, any bacterial things that you may be dealing with, tea tree oil is awesome for that. Um, let's see. So speaking of being sick, one good, one of the best um, blends that I've purchased so far is the Breathe Ease blend. Um, this is a mixture of eucalyptus, uh, rhodacea, and I wanna say Citradora, uh, Myrtle, Peppermint, Spruce, Ravensara, Pine, and Marjoram. So the Ravensara that is in this um, works wonders for chest congestion. So anytime I'm dealing with chest congestion or if someone in the family is, I will put the breathies um, on their chest to help break up that um, pneumonia type cough that might be in their chest from a mucus buildup. I don't know if we've used mucinex or anything like that in a long time because this works every time. I know Marshall got sick with a cough not, um, you know, a few months ago and we put some of this on his chest and it, you know, cleared it up within no time. Oh, and another one is flu time. Um, flu time, I like to diffuse anytime anyone's sick to kill off any bacteria in the air. And then also is immune boost for us. It has frankincense, peppermint, spearmint, cinnamon leaf, lime, ginger root, lavender, and FCO. So I use this, um, like I said, I'll diffuse it. This is another one, like I'll alternate and I'll put the flu time on my lymph nodes there again um, <clears throat> if I feel like I'm coming down with something. And then also I learned this from a friend um, if you feel like you're coming down with it to rub it along your spine, especially the frankincense um, That will help to get your body circulation moving and then also help boost your lymphatic system So rubbing this on your spine is another great way to help boost your immunity and your um, Lymphatic system so flu time and the flu time has worked excellent also and I love the um, cinnamon scent that you get from it. It has also, uh, anytime I have headaches, I'll diffuse this and the cinnamon bark will help um, relieve my headaches. So flu time is awesome. Um, there again, uh, when sixth season comes around, I always make sure I have plenty of flu time and my breathies. Now a newer one that I just got is their immune strength and there again I think that this would be a good one for a spinal rub and then um, if you needed to do the um, gland gland application and then also diffusing so immune strength I haven't gotten a chance to use it I've seen really good reviews on it and this was a new purchase and we haven't gotten sick yet to really use it so um, that one is another great one during your sixth season um, okay, and then also for being sick, oregano oil. This isn't one that I would probably use with the kids um, unless I have another friend that has told me that she'll put a few drops of eucalyptus, um, peppermint, and oregano oil of each, a few drops of each into boiling hot, um, a pan of boiling hot water and they will drape a um, towel over their heads and just breathe in um, the steam 
as that, you know, and let that work into their system. I don't know if your kids would be able to tolerate that depending on how old they are um, and how sensitive they are to the oils. Uh, that would be definitely something I would use if I had that issue. Um, I know that there's oregano oil that you can take orally. I know our health food store carries it. So that's like a food grade oregano oil that you can take a few drops of that. And that again will help with your cough. Um, I don't know as I would take this kind orally. You probably could, and I'm sure there's people who do, but um, this is one more for like chest. Oh, and I also made a chest rub that out of coconut oil and this mixed together that I rubbed on the chest uh, the last time. So you could probably do a mixture of the Breathe Ease and oregano oil to make a chest rub. And I think those would be two great things that if you're battling a cough, that would really work. And oregano oil is another one that I've read. If you have any sort of skin issue like warts or skin tags, I've also heard of people using oregano oil, putting a drop of that on a day and having that remove uh, those skin problems um, using just the oregano oil. So that's another great use. Um, let's see, all around oil. I'm not sure if, they still carry this. This is my original bottle. It's really a thick oil. There's still quite a bit of left of this. Um, all around oil is a white cedar peppermint, black cumin, uh, black pepper mixture or blend. And this is another one. Anytime I feel like I'm coming down sick, I will rub some of this on my throat or my glands. Um, sometimes I'll try like a few different ones and you know it just seems to help using the different ones helps to boost my immune system and if one isn't working for the particular problem I have then the other because some of them have viral properties antiviral properties and some have antifungal or antibacterial so using a mixture of these I think really helps I um, that's pretty much all I've used this all around for but I know white cedar I read some uh, information on white cedar and that's something that um, has been a uh, highly sought after and um, very therapeutic uh, essential oil to cure a lot of different things um, so they really recommended this and there again I'm not sure if they still send that sell this blend but it's mainly a white cedar blend um, so if you can get it that was a great blend um, the another blend that I use is Soothing Relief. So Soothing Relief has peppermint, spruce, wintergreen, clove bud, lemon. Um, this is one I will, if somebody has a cough or sore throat, um, this one there again because of the peppermint oil just really seems to soothe any sort of um, cough, chest congestion, um, or even if you have like achy muscles, I'll use Soothing Relief on that too. And this one just seems to be a great all around oil, uh, kind of similar to uh, the flu time, except it doesn't contain like the frankincense. And frankincense is one, it's a more expensive oil, but that's one I really wanna invest in soon because I don't know how many different articles and um, documentary information I found on frankincense that just really uh, talks about its invaluable medicinal qualities. So I really want to get frankincense sometime soon. There again, it, it's more expensive, but I really think that um, it can ha serve a lot of purposes and it can really help fight a lot of things. So, um, and to be able to put that uh, on top of your head and then on your spine when you're dealing with a lot of issues. Um, I know cancer patients talked about how they would put a drop on their tongue and hold it to the roof of their mouth um, for that absorption for like a brain tumor or uh, different you know, medicinal uses. But like I said, battling cancer, uh, frankincense and myrrh were both um, excellent oils to use for that. And I believe Rocky Mountain Oils also has a um, holy oils blend of frankincense and myrrh and I think basil was the third one um, so that would be a great 
uh, choice too if you're looking to buy that. Okay, so another great oil I use is the skincare oil, which includes the cucumber, lavender, frankincense, carrot seed, neroli, Roman chamomile, and rose. So this is a blend that is supposed to be excellent for your skin. I mix this together with almond oil, which is supposed to be a dry carrier oil. And that's what I use every day it is my facial, my facial moisturizer. Um, after I take a shower, I'll put that on my face, let that sit for a few minutes to absorb into my skin, and then I'll rub off the excess oil so I don't have really oily skin, and then I'll do my makeup after that. So the skincare mixed with the almond oil. Now what I really like to try is mixing my skincare oil with rosehip oil as the carrier oil and using that as my um, facial moisturizer. So I've heard great things about rosehip oil, so the two of those together I think would be really great. I don't wanna use conventional facial moisturizers because there are a lot of extra added um, chemicals in that that I don't want and I don't wanna spend all this time and effort creating this magical, uh, long drawn out process of my own facial moisturizer. I tried that a couple times. It just takes too long to mix all these things together to make these lotion mi mixtures and you have to worry about storing them. So just diluting my skincare oil and a carrier oil like rose hip or almond oil is just a fast, easy way to make my own moisturizer. So that's kind of my hack for that. Um, I use Clary Sage also. That is supposed to be a hormone balancing oil for women. Um, so if you're having hormone issues, I recommend the Clary Sage Oil. And let's see, oh, citronella. So I purchased on sale some of the citronella oil because summer's coming up and we're gonna be dealing with mosquitoes. So the citr citronella oil is gonna be my um, oil that I'm gonna put in a spray bottle to make um, bug spray for the kids so I picked that up and um, okay one of the last oils oh other than eucalyptus so eucalyptus there again is a um, hot oil so and that's one thing I did want to warn you guys about so your peppermint oil your eucalyptus um, what they call your hot oils are ones that you want to be very careful if you have infants or young children um, there are warnings out there for these two oils, especially because uh, they can cause a child's breathing to slow down almost to the point where they stop breathing in their sleep if you use them on children who are too young or diffuse them. So you want to be really cautious that you, when using these on children. So just a warning that I found on these that I don't know if everybody knows that or not. So yeah, I'd be really cautious using this on little ones. Um, but the eucalyptus is a great one to open up your um, air passageways to break up chest congestion. Um, I think eucalyptus is also really good for like as like a muscle um, joint pain um, relief. So I've used this in mixes with geranium oil uh, to do like muscle relief. Now geranium oil, I did have some of that, but it was so strong it caused a headache anytime I smelled even the littlest bit of it, I just couldn't stand the smell of it. It was so strong and it just gave me an instant headache every time I was around it. So I ended up getting rid of the geranium oil, but there are a lot of awesome uses for it. So I don't know, I would recommend it, but at the same time, me personally, I was just really sensitive to it, so I couldn't handle it. Um, At Peace is another oil blend that I have. Um, this is one, I mean, it wasn't, isn't at the super top of my list of ones to purchase. The smell is great, and it's one that I like to diffuse, so it has a really um, citrusy smell. Uh, it has lime, mandarin, grapefruit, uh, yang, I always say this wrong, yang yang, sandalwood, and tangerine um, mix in this one. Uh, like I said, very citrusy smelling and kind of, um, almost like a little bit of a lavender type smell to it too. Uh, this one is great to diffuse and it's supposed to be like a calming oil. Like if you're having a stressful day or your kids are running around crazy, this would be a good one to diffuse. Um, and there again, like 
I think you can do enough other oils that it would be okay to not get this one, but this is one that I just wanted to have around to diffuse. So it was pretty good, but um, another great one that I would really recommend for diffusing is the grapefruit oil. I love the smell of grapefruit. It's just the sweetest, um, most uplifting smell. I have a cheap version that I diffuse, um, but if you want like a better version of it, I still think it's better than like lighting a candle and all the chemicals that that puts in the air. So I'll opt for the cheaper version of grapefruit oil because I ran out of my Rocky Mountain Oil grapefruit. So I just bought a cheap version from Walmart, but um, grapefruit oil is just an excellent, like springy smell that's just really uplifting. So grapefruit oil is an awesome one that uh, lemon, grapefruit, and orange, um, just to make your house smell good and give it a fresh smell, grapefruit oil is a great one. Um, so that is all I have. So I went through all of my oils with you. Uh, like I said, I have this, um, concentrate cleaner that I haven't had a chance to use yet so once I run out of some of my other cleaners I'm gonna give this one a try I think it's just probably enough to make one batch just enough to make one batch out of this bottle here so um, those are just a few ideas and I did want to tell you for my essential oils diffuser I spent I think anywhere between uh, 15 to 25 dollars on my diffuser that I purchased off of Amazon I'll leave a link below of the diffuser that I use um, so that you can get one similar I've had really good luck with mine and I think it also came with a booklet of um, recipes of mixtures that you can put together for diffusing blends um, but my diffuser has lasted me and I've used it hours on end every single day and it just works really good now you can get a bigger beefier diffuser if you have a larger home um, I normally set mine up in the kitchen because that's where we are 75% of the time um, but having depending on your house size and where you're gonna be using it um, my diffuser worked really well in the kitchen area we have a larger dining uh, living room now so could probably use a bigger one now for this area. So it just depends on where the square footage of where you're using it. But the one I'm gonna put in the link would be great for like a large room, um, like a large kitchen or um, bedroom or something. So I will leave the link for that below. Um, also, I'll leave a link uh, below for the carrier case. I got this off of Amazon. This was a birthday present. Um, it just has, and I'll kind of show it to you. It just has all the little um, nooks and crannies in there the spots for all of my different oils and actually I've gotten enough so far that I've almost outgrown this one but um, this is great to take on trips with me whenever I need like my go-to bag um, we're leaving the house or whatever I can just grab this and take it with me just make sure you're not leaving your carrier oils in your car or out in the freezing weather because um, that can ruin your oils so make sure that you are keeping them in a regulated temperature area um, so that you know you're not ruining your oils that way all right so coming up we're going to be doing a video on prepping our raised garden beds with a um, hoop house and we're going to show you some more on how we do that and then if you have any comments on our videos we would love to hear from you and we would also love any ideas if there's something that uh, you'd like us to cover then um, I'd love you to give me a shout out in our video and uh, tell me what you want to see and we want to do a farm update coming up here at the end of the week and hopefully this weather will break so we'll get some nicer weather to get some stuff done so we can show you that um, so yeah like our videos if you can subscribe um, if you can share our videos that would be amazing um, we'd love to hear from you if you could comment on our videos we'd love to hear what you have to say what you'd like to see um, so we look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you in the next video Bye.